What's up, everybody? I'm Kelly Flya, and welcome back to Drag not Dragon Age, uh, Divinity Original Sin. My bad. Frightfully busy at the moment, love. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. Uh, pull a flask from your bag and offer it to her. Smile apologetically and say you're fresh out. Uh, tell her she's a sad excuse for a healer if alcohol is the only remedy in her repertoire. Ask her if she has anything available for trade. Why, look at that. Just what I ordered. Ain't you a peach, love? An old deal here to thank you too if he could. That's what happened to him. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Yeah, you had a run in with those brutes yourself. Lucky you came out of it at all. Plenty of folks around of here haven't, and it's me who ends up wrist deep in the gore. Hmm. Poor Doc. Let's go over here. Actually, let's see. We could explore over here. Anything to see? Uh oh, we have blood and a mutilated corpse. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. Slowly, um, say you're sorry, but you can't help him. Slowly back away from the creature, avoiding its bloodshot eyes. I lay a hand to your weapon. This fiend is dangerous. You want to leave? to go tell me where the yarrow grows tell me tell me tell me now or shall i pick your parts clean too it's easy tell the creature you can't help him he needs to leave you be draw your weapon this thing appears unstable say you can help him find what he needs but at first he must listen to you carefully say the creature's business is none of yours and turn your back Suggest that prefer preferring drier climbs, Yero uh, is likely growing on the sunny cliffs above this beach. Are you mad? Yero loves the beach. Yero loves the sand, the waves, the wind in her hair. You're better off without a top. You're better off uncrossed. Ew. Delay. I don't feel like delaying. You know what I feel like doing? I feel like, uh... Uh, okay, target gun um, gains clear minds, which increases strength, fitness, and intelligence by one, and width by two. Removes blinded, terrified, charmed, taunted, sleeping, enraged, and mad. Okay, well that's not really what we want to do now, is it? Damn it. He's too close still? Maybe now. What? Okay, fine. Just shoot him, I guess. Oh. 
Uh, close enough to it. Uh, we'll just uh, enter. Uh, no, enter. We're not fleeing combat this time. Kill him. Yes. Ooh. You got me go stuff. In this circumstance, it's probably for the best that we killed him. Hmm. Uh, two, three. Uh, but, well, what we had was pretty bad, I mean. Uh, two magical armor. Let's put it on our friend here. We have our source color on still. Hmm. Let's put on some boots while we're at it. we're doing good I, I'm pretty sure that's the best we can do right now okay All right. let's make sure everything is looted ooh lockpick you guts oh fish bone Okay. Nothing really to explore over there. Chest. Okay. All right, I think we're done exploring this general area. Let us move on. If we can check out Quest. Reorganize a little bit. Oh, I forgot. Let me set on him. And we can put this on her. That's a little better than what we had on before. Actually quite better comparatively. Alright, I think we are looking good. We're gonna probably just move on now. Speak to Mona. Leave me. <coughs> Go. Note her pallor and ask if she needs help. Do as she asks, she looks contagious. Say you'll fetch a doctor and she doesn't look well at all. Wonder what will happen to her effects when she passes. Fascinating. You've read about the plague known as the wet death. You've never seen such an acute case. 
No. <coughs> Don't you dare. I want... I want to be done. I won't let the Reds... <coughs> won't let them take me. Okay. Let's get out of here. Thankfully, our disease, like, uh, our armor got, like, blocked the disease. We're blocked off from there. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. What do you need? So you have a few questions about Dalius. <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. Uh, change the subject, uh, to Gilly. I think we've already spoken to her about that. I don't think we've really gone this far, though. Bow your head, please! If we chant the endless prayer, the next divine will ascend, even if your kind has displeased the god so terribly of late. Tell him the divine is dead, no matter how much anyone prays. Say your hope, uh, you hope he's right. Ask what he means by your kind. Ask him to teach you the endless prayer. What do you mean by your you kind? You know what I mean, elf. The dwarves and lizards are no better. The lot of you would drag us all into oblivion with your blind devotion to source. The time of source is over. Ask if he, um, if he isn't also a sorcerer. Tell him it's the divine he ought to blame. Source for the beautiful power before his death. Refuse to bow before some vile, dead effigy. The homeland is your temple. Of course I am, or I wouldn't be here. But I am humble enough to know that if Rivalon is to survive, I must surrender my power to the divine order. Source has become dangerous. It will undo us all. Dear God. Hey, I know you. No, sir. The dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were Sibyl, right? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? So you're not sure. You fell into the water and were nearly lost. Say you tried to make a run for the boat, but you didn't make it. The rest is blurry. Me too. Did you hear something? When you were in the water, I mean. Not. Tell her there was a strange voice. It seemed to want you to survive. Avoid answering. Ask if she heard anything unusual. Lie and say you didn't. You're a strong swimmer, though. You made it to shore all right. I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only. Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Gently call out her name and ask if she's all right. Slowly approach and shake her shoulders, leave her be. Her head snaps to you mechanically and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? Run and ask her why she's acting so strangely. Tell her you're discussing the shipwreck. Uh, you smell trouble here. Tell her you need to be going. Uh, let's discuss oh, the yeah. shipwreck. Yeah, it was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Losa, he'd say, Losa, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find you a way out. Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. As if she can explain what she was doing just a moment ago, tell her her name sounds familiar. I've given a few shows around Reaper's Coast. Might be you saw a poster or a flyer. Might be you even heard about the, uh, incident. 
Ask if she can explain what she was doing just a moment ago. Tell her to go on. What incident? Say you need to be going. Well, I was giving this concert up on Overlook Hill. There was a great crowd. They were really feeling it. But I guess it was too good. I had me a little sauce flare up. Everyone went a bit, I don't know, wild, rabid. I snapped out of it before anyone got hurt, but the Magistus caught me backstage afterwards. Ask what uh, exactly she was doing a moment ago. Was that a four, um, source flare up too? Uh, nod, they go, um, they got you after your source manifested too. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Tell her she's going to have to elaborate. Waggle a, a, a rakish eyebrow. Wait, waggle an, a, a rakish eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home? Put it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... A roadside inn, red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Ask her who or what she was hosting a few minutes ago. Ask her how many beings she's hosting at the moment. Feels like just one, strangely enough. Big one, though. Don't know its name yet, either. It takes time for them to get comfortable and introduce themselves. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Say the Magisters hauled you in, something about being a danger to yourself and society. Say you heard the accommodation was exceptional and had to seek for yourself. Say it'd be more than enjoyable if you had someone to get um, the lay of the land with. Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Hesitate, mention you're not sure about a travel companion with an otherworldly spirit inside her. Decline you're better off by yourself, or say that this sounds like a good idea. Who said anything about otherworldly? Demons and brain ghosts are just as mundane as you or I. Mostly you. <laughs> so, wanna go together? Very right, fine. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if... <laughs> when push comes to shove lately i've been into the enchanting arts but i can shoot slash summon steal whatever your little black heart desires so what'll it be hmm we'll probably go dexterous ourselves we have someone with a little bit of muscle we'll say we'll stick with the enchanter sounds fine so we're good to go yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. <laughs> 